this. I'm back in the car and I have deposited all of my money. So the total was 7748 and then I literally went in there, was talking to um, the person helping me, the banker, and I had shit all in my nose. Like, I don't even know how I just <laughs> leave it. I don't try because I'm rushing and shit. Yeah, this is I'm gonna get my ah! I have a hair appointment on the third. Oh God. And I find out that all of this was for me to go to a pool party hosted by my club. And forgot that the 4th of July is on Monday. So it's the weekend of 4th of July that the that the partying is happening. And my appointment, my hair appointment is on the 3rd because I was all in preparation for the 4th. So I'm going to be perfect for the 4th, but like I'll have nothing to do except for go to work. I have this new girl doing my nails. <sighs> so expensive. So much money to be like perfect for this pool party. I literally got a new bathing suit. The whole nine yards, y'all. And... I'm probably not going to make it to the pool party. Very sad about that, to be honest. Um, I don't have enough friends to be like, hey, let's do this instead. Like, what a great high of the money count. Like, yay. And then the low of... So that's the type of person I am. <laughs> I'm going to try and budget, though, because I just got groceries. Congratulations. They're in order. Yeah, I feel like such a loner right now, to be completely honest with you. So frustrated, dude. Like, I literally spent extra money to, like, prepare for the fourth. And I didn't check the date. King Monday. People have, like, really weird rules about, like, rescheduling and shit. And, like, I... I, it, it's stressful. It really is. Like, once it's booked, it's booked. Like, I don't want to, like, I don't want to be annoying, but... I have, oh, yeah, I have this friend that said he was coming in for the 4th, and he wanted to hang out, but I'm like... Still need, um, I have my notes. <laughs> I am a person that likes to write notes. I want to get my hoo-ha wax, but my period's on. Can they do that while your period's on? That's gross, right? I'm not gonna do that to them. But I actually do need to get waxed. So I'm like, should I just do it? I saw this one girl at the club. She, I think she gets laser because it was so smooth. I was like, did on that, you know, maybe we can go get a laser. I usually get Brazilian. Brazilians are good. Except my hair isn't even that long right now because I have to keep shaving it for work. And I'm like, oh, I need to get my toes done. So the girl, she's gonna do my hands, which is a hundred and $50, but I still don't have my toes done. So that's gonna be another $100. I'm gonna learn how to just do my own nails because fuck this. This is an expense that I just am not about. Like, I'm not really someone who likes to like pay that much for nails. I did for a little bit when I was in Houston and it was fun, but I couldn't get any work done. And like my coworker told me to cut them off and I was like, I can't, I paid like $150 for these, I'm sorry. It's dark in there anyways. And I could honestly go with it like this. I mean, it's pretty ratchet, but you know, it's kind of grown out, but like, who's going to really be looking that hard? You know what I mean? You can last a good bit and this has been on for about a month. So yeah, we should also do like a spin. Like how much do I spend every month? Cause that would be pretty good. Um, so you know how much it costs to be a stripper because a lot of people like hype it up. Like you make this much money, whatever. Like I have, you know, my money count. Um, but this month I spent around like $3,000 minimum maybe four thousand but anyways let's go run some more errands let's go i guess get my upper lip wax oh i also have like another a doctor's appointment too um, yeah but last night i was really like in my low vibe and now i feel a lot better uh and then i need to find someone to do my toes maybe i can do that tomorrow but tomorrow let's do the wax situation my nails will be done and then my toes and then today we can get the eyelash glue the makeup and then greetings earthlings it's casey here oh sorry i have like 10 names right now um it's actually kami wow i'm like glowing so i just came back from ulta yay let's see what i got um, bear with me. I'm like trying to show you guys and hold the camera at the same time because it's so hot. I don't want to put it up there. 
um, dashboard. So I got these do-it-yourself um, lash extensions. These were, oh my God, my nail. That's embarrassing. I'm gonna try and do it myself because I feel like I could and you know, I have nothing to lose. So why not try it out? Um, so I'm excited about that. I got the Versace fume. This smells amazing. Um, it was the three ounce one, I think. So this is like my go-to scent. Like I've tried out a lot of scents and there's another scent that I really like. It's called Alien. I've smelt it on one girl before and she smelt like roses, sunshine, rainbows, everything. And then when I wear it, when I smell it on me or like when I just like put it on me, I'm like, this doesn't smell the same. It's a lot more like potent and a little bit more rigid, I guess. Alienware, or not Alienware. I think that's like a computer brand. Uh, girl. I don't know what she did different, but I didn't like the smell of it on me. I got this Idol Lash. Apparently is like the best mascara right now. Um, I will show you what it looks like on me. Balm.com and it like brings your lashes out like tenfold. Some uh, lash glue. Because my lash glue is go and it's like falling apart and my lashes aren't even staying on. It's by like the grace of God that they're on my eyes now. Um, because I ran out of one and then the other one that it came with I got from the 99 cent store or like the dollar store. They have really good lashes at the dollar store. I advise you check it out. I was like, okay, pop off. But the glue that comes with it is actual garbage. So get your own glue, but I say stock up on the lashes from the dollar store because i've been looking at a lot of different lashes recently and then you have the mink ones that are just like a caterpillar like are on your eyes or something and i haven't like gotten on board with that trend just yet um no hate to it maybe i just haven't found the right ones but i don't really like those or i haven't found like the right pair dollar general i want to say it was had literally the perfect ones the ones i were looking for it was like a perfect mix uh i'll try and find it again and show you um the brand that it is eyeliner as well i need new eyeliner mine is running out i got the liquid liner though i don't like the one that you have to like keep rubbing on because it kind of messes up the other makeup that you have on Let's see what else Oh, and then I got Ruby Woo red lipstick, a classic, a cult classic. I usually like pink, but I've noticed that a lot of customers will be like, oh, you're cute when I have pink lip. And I'm like, bitch, okay, I'm not trying to be cute here. I'm trying to seduce you. Um, you know, I'm trying to get money. So I'm like, cute, but pink looks so much better on my complexion. Like, it really frustrates me that they say that. And it's like men just, I guess, associate hotness with red. <laughs> Did that. And then I think there's one more thing in here. Oh, yeah. I got this foundation. My cousin, she taught me everything about makeup. Like, she taught me how to do it and stuff. God bless her soul. So when I, I know how to do it, I just like, it's just because... I remember how she taught me, but I don't really know anything about it. So when I went in there, I was like, hey, I'm looking for concealer. And then she showed me like these small little thing, like the concealer, because concealer is like apparently more potent and like a smaller amount. I was like, wait, I need a bigger amount. And she was like, foundation. And I was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but this is like a stick foundation. There's SPF in it. <gasps> Yay! She kind of just showed me where to go and I was like, fine, let's go. Like, I honestly didn't really know what she, where she was taking me. I didn't really do enough research on what the best brands were. There is like this tint called Tintation, which is like a semi-permanent hair color spray, which smells amazing. And that's what I wanted, but they didn't have any. And I like, you would have to order it off Amazon and I don't have time for that. So I didn't do that. So my total came out to $183. So you're basically your own contractor. You're self-employed, I guess. So you're an independent contractor. And because of that, you can get back some money for taxes later. So keep your receipts. So that's why I'm a little bit more likely to splurge on like outfits or hair and stuff. I don't really know. I'm still not that well equipped to be an adult. I'll figure it out. I will pay someone to do my hair even though I can figure it out myself. Hair is a little bit more sentimental. So I'll be like, okay, 
just to make sure it's perfect, I'll pay for you for that. But eyelashes, like... Big no. I'll figure that shit out myself. Yeah, I'm so glad I'm vlogging again. Oh my god, I needed this, guys. I was really emo for a second there, and I was like, what's the purpose? Like, what is life? You know, with the black hair, of course, the emo comes out, and I'm like, God, here we go. And now vlogging, I feel so much better. I feel a lot happier. I miss this. I just had to, like, get settled down, you know? It was getting crazy out there. I need to come in with, you know, my routine. I'm a Taurus. I need routine to like feel stable. Now I have my routine again, so. Um, I might go to an R.L. Grime concert for the 4th of July, because R.L. Grime is the only person playing and I have nothing else to do. But yeah, I'm excited for the extensions. I can do that with you too. Um, I'm excited for the perfume. I just need like, you know, a statement perfume. Every time I have this on, I get a lot of compliments. The Versace and you can smell what you're getting. Like, I like that. I like that I can smell what I'm getting. I like that it's like a cult classic. I like that. Um, there's also this other perfume that's really expensive. It smells amazing. It's made in France. You know it's bougie. Let's drop off this hair to her. Um, I'm sure I do that tomorrow. I kind of want to get new dance shoes as well. Because mine, something else, like mine are a little bit like warped. Oh my God, I wanna like rant about this. Last night I was dancing at the club. I was so insecure on the stage. The tampon was in and it was like full, like this is like my first day, period. I was so insecure. Like you could tell I was not comfortable up there and it's for three songs, but I also like could not get comfortable. And then I also didn't shave because I'm trying to grow out so I could get a fucking wax. Thank God I did because one of the customers gave me $20 because he said he felt bad for me because no one else was giving me money. I was like, that's fine. That's fine, buddy. Keep it coming. And then we went to the back and he got a VIP. And that's how I made a lot of money last night because of him. So I'm actually really happy that I went on stage, even though I was so always go on stage, even when your period's on. Anyways, we did so much shit. Yay. I'm happy. Um... I wanted to show you my test for the Lancome mascara. Um, this is what it looks like. I don't know. I think honestly right now it looks a lot better than what it did earlier. So maybe it like ages with time, but I don't know. It's still, I guess I need to look for some for length. I remember having this really good kind a long time ago, but I can't remember what it's called now. So now I'm just watching Love Island UK. Can we talk about the fact that there's not enough diversity with Love Island giving the 1800s right now, like, or the 1900s, I'm really not good with history, whatever. Like spice it up please that's giving so basic i mean we only have one life to live and we're living right now so we might as well start that train you ask me i'm getting a little scared but yeah i'm just gonna chill today and then um you can come along with me tomorrow to get my nails done and all the other stuff i have to do i drank a little wine that's why i'm a little <laughs> a little tipsy <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,